Hey guys, Aaron22 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Scotty Pippen build. This build's very good. Um, thank you for 100 views on my last Michael Jordan build video. And I have another build coming on the way. But comment what build you want me to do, because I'll think about the which build. But yeah, this build's very good. Um, I'm going to show you some highlights, like these dunks. Look at that dunk. This build can shoot, dunk, even hit whites. You see, I hit a white in the corner. It's a very good build. I recommend it, especially for, like, any player who enjoys playing defense. And this build can really do everything. But, yeah, as you see, I'm in the corner. Irish spring green green. Um, if you want to know what jump shot I use, I just use base Ray Allen. It's really good probably the best jump shot I used this year. It's insane. You're going to see throughout this video. This is a gameplay. Look, another green. Basically, these kids, they pulled up twice. We beat them. And they were good, too. They were superstars. So, yeah, I was pretty surprised. I was going off in this game, as you can see. But this build is very good. I'm out in transition. You see, I hit another green. Like, what is that? Three greens in a row? It's insane. These kids are superstars. So for me and my friends to beat them while we're only all-stars is pretty crazy. I mean, they're not the best superstars, as you can see. But yeah, this build's really good. I definitely recommend it for any player. It's athletic also. It has, I think, 84 vertical. And yeah, it's just an all-around good build. can do everything. Um, comment if you think Scottie Pippen's underrated. Honestly, I think he's one of the most underpaid and underrated, um, players of all time. Um, if you didn't see the new Last Dance show, it's super good. I recommend you go watch it. It's on ESPN. But, um, they talk about how Scottie Pippen was underpaid. And this man signed a seven-year, $21 million contract. That is so low to be one of the best players in the NBA and sign that low of a contract. LeBron's getting paid a over a hundred million over four years. So compared to Scottie Pippen's contract, as you see, I hit a green here in the game. But yeah, I think all the attention was on Jordan. The people didn't realize how good Scottie Pippen was becoming and how good he was. And you also can't forget about Dennis Rodman. I mean, he was really good also. But, yeah, Scottie Pippen's probably one of my favorite players of all time. I just, if you watch his highlights, you should go ahead and watch them. He's amazing at defense. One of the best defensive players I've ever seen play. He can block shots, steal. And his dunking was underrated for sure. He would do dunks from outside the key. Insane dunks. Is insane. <laughs> Just go ahead and watch that. I recommend it. But um, we're about to drop off these sweats. Let's see. All right, good take. But yeah, that was a good game. Um, I ended up having thirteen points, five for seven. But let's get into the build. So um, um, you could really pick either pie chart. I recommend shooting and defensive, but you could also go playmaking shooting. For the pie charts, I was thinking about going balanced. I didn't know, but I went with the higher vertical because I know Scottie Pippen could get up there and dunk. And you're going to get a bunch of badges in basically every category, which is really nice about this build. I think you're going to get eight defensive, or sorry, finishing, 13 shooting, which is pretty good. 9 playmaking, and 17 defensive. So it's really all-around good build. Um, It's about, what, 47 badges? So when you hit legend, you'll have 87 badges, which that's pretty hard to do. But still, 47 badges for a build is pretty good, in my opinion. Um, Let's see if we can tweak anything around here. I don't think. I think you might be able to get one more finishing, but I don't know for sure. Let me just see. Um, yeah, for rebounding, make sure you go, like, balance. Don't put it all on one. 
like one defensive because it's good. You want to make him six seven like Scotty Pippen. I think Scotty Pippen was actually six eight, but you can only make him six seven. And you might want to go minimum wingspan for shooting, but really, if you can hit greens, you don't need to have a high shooting rating, especially this year. If you watch YouTubers, you see they've been hitting greens on 43 three-point rating. It's insane. It should say you've built a three-level score. And that means you built it correctly. But let's see what badges we can do. So make them a 99. I'm just testing this out. For finishing, I would go consistent finisher on silver, contact finisher on gold, and fancy footwork. Fancy footwork is one of the best badges this year. Definitely recommend it. Shooting, obviously green machine. Get that in Hall of Fame. You saw how many greens I was hitting. Um, let's see. I mean, I you could get silver quick draw. If you just find a fast jump shot, you don't need quick draw. But those are the shooting badges I would go with, especially corner specialists, because you're going to be shooting whites in the corner, as you saw. Quick first step, one of the best playmaking badges. Unpluckable for sure. And the other one doesn't matter really. I'll just go space creator. But those are the playmaking I go with in defensive. This is where you get a ton. Hall of Fame clamps. Hall of Fame intimidator. I'll put silver box, gold interceptor, and gold rim protector, and we have one more. Just put on rebound chaser. But those are the badges I would suggest for this build. Um, thank you for watching, and suggest what build you want to see next. I'm thinking about doing Dwayne Wade, but it doesn't really matter. Please subscribe and comment. Thank you.